Now, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to end my remarks in a slightly unusual way. NATO is an alliance of nations, but also made up of leaders. And one person in particular has done an extraordinary job leading NATO for the last decade, Secretary General Stoltenberg, when he come forward. So much of the progress we made in the alliance is thanks to the Secretary. He's a man of integrity and intellectual rigor, a calm temperament in the moment of crisis, a consummate diplomat who works with leaders across the political spectrum and always finds a way to keep us moving forward. Secretary, you've guided this alliance through one of the most consequential periods in its history. I realize I was talking to your wife. I personally ask you to extend your service. <laughs> Forgive me. And you put your own plans on hold. When the Russian war in Ukraine began, you didn't hesitate. Today, NATO is stronger, smarter, and more energized than when you began. And a billion people across Europe and North America, indeed the whole world, will reap the rewards of your labor for years to come in the form of security, opportunity, and greater freedom. For these reasons, I am pleased to award you the highest civilian honor the United States can bestow, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I ask the middle <laughs> military to come forward. And ask him to read the citation. The President of the United States of America awards this Presidential Medal of Freedom to Jen Stoltenberg, a visionary statesman and ceaseless defender of democracy. Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg has guided the NATO alliance through the most consequential decade for European security since World War II. When Vladimir Putin launched his brutal assault on the people of Ukraine, betting that NATO would break, Secretary General Stoltenberg proved him wrong. Under his stewardship, NATO has become stronger and more united than ever, and Americans for generations to come will benefit from the safer world he helped create. He demonstrates that the core truth of the alliance is as powerful now as it was 75 years ago. Together, we are stronger. <laughs>